Hey there, I am back with another deck review and today we're going to be looking at the Ace Fulton's Casino Vintage Back Edition in the Tokyo Orange colorway from designer Brad Fulton and Art of Play. Now this deck is the latest in the long line of classic Ace Fulton's Casino decks. Uh, Brad Fulton's designed it in a number of different colorways. You've got black, brown, orange, uh, red, and blue, just tons of different colors. Uh, but this is the second in the Vintage Back series, the first major redesign of the Ace Fulton's deck in years. Uh, the first one, which you can see the review on my channel as well, is this one right here, the Tobacco Brown Edition. Uh, but now we've paired it with the Tokyo Orange. Uh, now, it's definitely a much more standard deck, but it is one of, if not my favorite, of the classic and, you know, standard decks. I usually collect more custom, but I absolutely love the Ace Fulton's line. Uh, one of the quotes that I've seen from Brad that I absolutely love is this idea that one of the hardest things to do is to make a simple design work really, really well. And I think that really holds true with this one. It kind of reminds me of the saying of how one of the most complicated things for a chef to make is a simple egg. Uh, it's really just a great testament to the skill and design uh, to just have so many simple elements brought together in this deck. Now the story of the vintage backs is really interesting because it's actually uh, an older design. In the course of putting together the classic Ace Fulton's deck, uh, they discarded a lot of different designs along the way. And so this is actually a resurrection of one of those designs and finally bringing it to life. Uh, but let's take a look at it and see how it comes out. Now, starting with the tuck case, very simple, very clean. It's done in a matte, almost kind of raw cardboard that's dyed orange, really deep, bright orange color. You have the Ace Fulton's logo right there front and center uh, you've got nice embossing on it gold foil to kind of accent out a couple of the words but really really nicely done uh, very clean not much to the front of the tuck uh, on the sides on one side you've got ace fulton's casino other side the dnd playing card company for day and day who helped distribute the deck and then on the bottom you have some ad copy and a large mention of the cambric thin stock that's used for this one so the cambric 37 finish is used and it's on a nice thin crushed stock. At the top, you have a script Fulton's. It's pretty much covered up by that tuck seal, but a nice broad flowery script that says Fulton's. That's actually a staple on a lot of the Ace Fulton's decks going back to the original uh, Fulton's clip joint deck. And then on the back, plain orange, just has the very simple made in the USA at the bottom. Finishes up with a postage stamp style seal very plain, nondescript, brown and black, just says the D&D Playing Card Company. Inner flap has a little bit of ad copy for Cambric and USBCC. And then you have the 3.7, reference to that Cambric 37 finish as well. Nothing printed on the interior of the tuck, and that finishes the look there. Let's jump into the cards. Now, starting with the back design. Uh, much like any classic casino deck, it's very simple. It just has a reflected design to form a two-way uh, design. Just has the Ace Fulton's Casino logo. Very simple, very clean. And the background is done in this really cool metallic orange color. I love the use of kind of non-standard, if you will, metallic colors. You see a lot of gold, silver, and even bronze. But to get a mix of orange, is a nice, uh, nice change of pace. Finishes out with a nice thin white poker border. However, it would not be a USBCC deck if it didn't have a couple of registration issues. You'll see not only is this one off center, but it's even a little bit crooked uh, along the edge here. You can kind of see that. So a little bit disappointing. That's more on uh, USBCC than on Brad Fulton, uh, but something kind of come to expect with these decks. Uh, that's the back design. Extra cards you get. Uh, the same Ace Fulton's uh, Joker that you've seen in a lot of their decks. This is kind of the compliments card as if this deck was given away at the casino. Uh, actually features the more famous Ace Fulton's Casino logo that you see kind of on that side. So that's the design that's featured on most of their other decks, the ones that are not the vintage backs. So there's your two Jokers. Another mainstay of any Ace Fulton's deck is going to be its ad card. Uh, one side features... Uh, ad for the horse racing uh, so you can go to the fam world famous tip sheet 
And then on the other side, you have the rules of Ace Fulton's Casino. I love this card. Uh, I, and I really love the language that's used on this one. It really kind of evokes the feel of that kind of seedy casino in the 50s, even with the language, like bring the grease and feel the heat, or tip the dolls or take it on the heel and toe. Uh, I love those little touches. I think it really adds something to the feel of the overall deck. And then mention here of Brad Fulton, Dan and Dave Buck, and the illustrator, Dan Phillips. Uh, so there's the ad card. You also get a double backer, but it's a two color. So one side you get the orange, on the other side you get the brown. This is actually the color of the original tobacco brown deck. Uh, so you can get a preview of both. Actually, if you got the tobacco brown deck, this was the same card that was included on those. So if you got that deck first, you got a little bit of a preview of the orange to come. Uh, so there's your double backer. Now, the rest of the deck is fairly standard. The only really custom card is the Ace of Spades. Uh, features the large Ace Fulton's Casino uh, logo there again in the center with metallic orange ink. It says the D&D playing card company at the bottom, but then has really standard pip and index. And the number cards, more the same, pretty much standard. Black is black, red is red, nothing too custom on these. The quartz as well, fairly standard. They're uh, Arco standard quartz. Uh, not even really recolored, just done in the red, blue, and yellow. I feel like I'd love to see this deck with maybe some recolored quartz or something. Or like some of the Ace Fulton's decks will use like one or more of the pips will be kind of customized. So they'll use one restyled pip. I like those little touches. That said, for a casino deck and kind of the theme they're going with, I understand why it really went with just a full standard deck with only a custom Ace of Spades. Uh, makes sense with the deck. Uh, but that is pretty much it for the deck. Now, as far as handling these, quite frankly, they handle great. It's on a really, really thin stock. It's that crush stock that Dan and Dave use on a lot of their cards. And it's got that cambric 37 finish. Uh, it fans and cuts just really, really nicely right out of the box. Uh, very, very smooth. Uh, cuts are gonna handle well. Uh, so nothing to complain about whatsoever on this. I will note that for me, I picked up some older Ace Fulton's decks that are also done in the cambric finish. And I've noticed that some of the older ones, the cards tend to clump a little bit faster than what I would see with, uh, with you know, maybe regular air cushion finish or something like that. But out of the box, handles great. Uh, now, what's the deck good for? Well, it's really, I think, gonna find its use as a functional deck. I'm thinking gameplay, I'm thinking magic, that's really where it's going to find its forte. It's a standard deck, uh, you know, casino style. So I think it's really going to do well for those. But it handles great as well. That th nice thin stock, I think, is going to make it really well suited for cardistry as well. I'm not personally much of a cardist, but these handle great. Have a nice, simple, bright design. You get the nice shine of those metallic ink. So I think it'd work really great for cardistry in addition to gameplay. Uh, but that really, I think, is a deck that's meant to be used and enjoyed. Uh, so that's it. That is the look at the Ace Fulton's Casino uh, Vintage back in the Tokyo Orange. Uh, definitely a more standard deck, you know, just, you know, kind of quote, just recolored from some of the previous decks. But it's an absolutely classic design that I have a soft spot for, uh, hands down. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this look. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more decorations and unboxings. Let me know what else you want to see. And I'll see you for the next one.